What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you the Pro League SBC. It is per bet, and uh, obviously you get a 100k pack, you get the per bet card, and you also get 15,000 coins. So, I've literally been through this, and it only cost me around about 150k, and I barely had anything in my club. Um, I had some of the golds, but they're literally discard. The bronzes are a big help on this. I'm just going to click submit on all these, because there's absolutely no point in me showing you individually. Um, because that's just going to take too long, but yeah, um, as I say, like literally there were so many bronze players that were 200 coins, which is fantastic, it means that this is extremely cheap, I also like the fact that EA have gave us a 100k pack for this as well, if you were to do it, because um, obviously the player on his own isn't really that desirable, so um, yeah, um, well, giving a 100k pack definitely makes it valuable, uh, it, well, it gives pack value anyway, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get that those coins back, but, you know, it's better than a, a, a 7.5k pack or something like that, which, uh, you know, they might do for other things, I suppose. Um, like for the Lacazette one, you don't even get a pack, uh, but that's because the Lacazette card alone is fantastic, and you also get 30,000 coins. But yeah, I think the most expensive one uh, that I did on this was probably around about... 12k max um like oh what's wrong with this oh great great i've got a constraint that's fucked up on this one fantastic so we're gonna have to buy one player here uh we'll see if we can get a cheap silver striker um and then just replace that bronze up there seems like the team rating wasn't uh what it needs to be there you go 2000 i might be able to get one for cheaper nah all right, I'll just spend that for the purpose of the video, but uh, usually I'd have like scouted the the team to find the uh, very, very cheapest, but I'll just do that, and then that should be that one done, and then we'll just, actually, can we get, do that? Oh no, it brings the rating down. So this bronze is gonna be sold. How much did I pay? A thousand. Uh, I might be able to get that back, but anyway, there we go. That is submitted for that one, and uh, we'll just continue doing this, but as I say, uh, the the most expensive one cost me about 12k and the cheapest one was literally 3 to 4k like um, I, I think that was near the bottom actually I think it was the second last team I will reference it when we actually come up uh, well when we get to it but I'm, I'm literally just showing you me doing this I'm doing it as a live thing so uh, yeah obviously I'm stumbling over my words occasionally but most of these I literally got down to 95 chemistry the very minimum you can get because again there's no point going to 100k so you'll see in some of them I've got like strikers all over the place um, like what's wrong with this one we've got a right mid and right back uh, we've got a center back in CDM another center back in CDM and literally that gave us 95 chemistry because there's, there's just no point getting any higher because you're just submitting these four untradeable cards um, like this one a left mid and left wing back a CDM and center back uh, things like that I think a right mid and right wing back and uh, stuff but anyway get a jumbo silver pack for that I think these are the last three that we need to submit now standard Liege which I did think would be pretty cheap but um, because half the team's gold, but it's actually one of the more expensive ones, because I, I presume their players are really, really, um, well, <laughs> they don't have too many other players. Uh, like, this was the really, really cheap one, I think, that literally cost me around about 5k. Okay, maybe slightly more. Okay, it cost roughly about 6, but uh, yeah. That was because there was a couple of silvers that cost like a thousand here or there, but most of them were really, really cheap. And then we're going to submit this last one here, and then that gets us some of the coin rewards as well as the entire thing, which is fantastic. The Pro League completed, so that is now four leagues down, and uh, hopefully there's a lot more to go. But this will actually be my first 100k pack on FIFA. Now, this guy just doesn't look very good to be fair I doubt he'll even make a bench but um, you never know if there's a a pro league thing that you know like a, a requirement then I suppose I'll give him a go but 17 packs in total in the store so um, we'll, we'll just open these obviously the 100k pack will do last but I'm just gonna store a lot of this into the club and then I'll, I'll look at it later on just to speed up this video because it's not really that fun watching you know well silver packs I suppose as most of these are but uh, we, we do get a, a 
Portuguese player there, but again, I'll store him in the club, I'll deal with all this later, and uh, we'll just discard any duplicates that are not players. If we've got any players that are duplicates, we'll just send them to the transfer list. Hopefully we can get like a moustache item or an inform. Obviously we're looking for the League 1 and the Pro League Silvers, but because there's uh, some certain packs out at the minute, it means, uh, like silver packs, it means that these players are slightly going down well they're going down in price for now but they will increase i suppose for a couple of weeks and then once the hype dies down they'll uh, they'll go down quite drastically now one of my friends on twitter actually got ronaldo in a 5k pack so you know it, it's possible i mean it's highly unlikely but it's possible that you could get that so uh yeah, I'm going to try and hold high hopes even for these 5k packs, but I, I really don't expect anything. I think um, Cross FIFA, my highest one that I've got in any 5k pack, I think was like an 87 rated Modric or an 88 rated Modric in like FIFA 13 or 14 or something. I can't remember what FIFA, but yeah, I, I did get a high rate. Oh no, it wasn't. It wasn't Modric. It was uh, Lom. I think Lom's my highest rated and he was 87. Oh, I thought that was a walkout, but it's just glitched where it, it doesn't open the pack for crying out loud. D oh, you trolling bastards, right? We haven't even had a rare in these 5k packs yet, um, which I kind of expected, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. How many more 5k packs do we have before we actually get to some decent ones? All right, yeah, we're, we're getting some 7.5k packs after this. Fantastic. And then whatever follows that. But, um... Yeah, so far not really a lot. I mean, admittedly, haven't even been paying attention, just storing everything in my club. So you'll probably know better than I do what I've actually got from these, if there's anything valuable. But I don't think there is, and it's glitched again. That isn't a walkout, that's just a glitched up pack. I don't know why it does that when you've got a lot of free packs in the market. And I don't know what that glitch was. It just looked as though I stored a player in my club when I didn't. But, uh, oh well, those 5k packs yielded no rare player. So uh, at the minute, my coins were at 997,000. They're now 1,000, uh, sorry, 1,010,000. So 13,000 back so far. So we are just under 100,000, um, sorry, just over 100,000 net spend at the minute as we get Kieran Gibbs in the first of our 7.5k packs. Not too bad, I'll storm in the club for uh, the inevitable Hazard squad building challenge that should drop on the 18th of um, November as that's when the Premier League actually announce who's won Player of the Month. Personally, I voted for Costa because although Hazard's last game was absolutely terrific, that was November and he was good in October but I just feel like Diego Costa performed better. But most people will obviously vote for Hazard and uh, for FIFA terms, that's fair enough for me. And again, that's glitched up. Stop glitching up, man. You're tricking me into thinking I've got something amazing. I mean, I could get something amazing in a glitched up pack, but I highly doubt it. And I'd be a bit disappointed because, you know, part of the hype with the walkout, it's exciting to see who comes out of the pack until you realise it's like buskets or something, but you never know. Uh, we get... Oh, I thought it was Smolin Inkov. It's not. It's Jan Biev. I've done a, a pretty good job of pronouncing him, I think. Oh, we got a right mid Brazilian. He might actually go for a bit if uh, the advanced squad building challenges are still there, which I'm sure they are. And um, yeah, we're almost at that 100k pack. Almost. Not quite, but almost. Um, and yeah. I'm, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm kind of excited, but throughout FIFA, 100k packs have been fairly dire to me. So... Uh, I don't, I don't know, I am excited to open my first one on FIFA, but um, yeah, kind of sceptical to see where it'll be, but I think we've got four or five more packs before then. The last silver one, which unfortunately doesn't look as though it's give us anything. Um, French 2, that's annoying. MLS maybe, but ugh. ugh. Uh, that didn't even give any uh, Pro League players, I don't think. Or if it did, I'm blind. Anyway, um, last... Oh no, this isn't a 5k pack, this is a 12.5k pack. One gold rare, which was Chesney in this case. Um, who else? Is there anyone Anyone that'll go for anything? Possibly we'll just store them all in the club, send everything else. Oh, we get the uh, right mid again, the Brazilian right mid. I think he'll go for like 3-4k. 
Uh, we'll open the 15k, then the 25k, and then the 100k pack. And uh, the flare is shit for that 15k pack. So, uh, what is it? If it's ever going to show me, it's Giroud. Okay, like an 83 rated, and I can't really tell the difference between the flares for the 81 slash 2 or the 83 slash 84. No, the 84 is a bit better. Oh, whatever. We got Giroud anyway, but uh, right, 25k pack, no walkout. Doesn't look as though that flare's any good. Um, oh, I thought it was on Titty, but no, it's Matteo, the, uh, the B Tech version of um titty in real life as well as um on fifa uh we'll store these and uh yeah <sighs> we're gonna open this 100k pack please 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 be a walkout please it's a walkout it's a fucking walkout come on come on please 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 it's Chili, it's Sanchez. I'll take that at first. I thought it was fucking Pogba. I was going to go mad. But um, yeah, Sanchez, I will definitely take that. Let's see what else is in the pack. So for me, this has definitely been worth it. Is there anything else? Doesn't look as though there's anything else. There's a few City players which uh, may come in useful later down the line. But I'll take that. A walkout. Fantastic. Um, oh, how much is Sanchez? Okay, he's over 100k, so yeah, literally, I've made profit overall, and uh, yeah, I'm fucking delighted with that, to be honest. Um, wasn't really expecting anything, but we've actually managed to get a walkout, so uh, yeah, that's actually really, really good. So uh, I'll try him out, see see what he is, because um, I have actually been wanting to try Sanchez, but never really had the chance and I think that's only the third player I've packed that's went for over 100k this FIFA yeah Kante one to watch Ben Arthur and now Sanchez so I'm delighted with that that was definitely worth it for me because I've actually managed to make profit from it but hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace